hi guys and welcome back to my channel in this plc tutorial we will solve a practical example which is motor run indicator so let's begin the problem that we are solving in this tutorial is that if we start the motor for the five times we must get an indication that we have started the motor for the five times and here is going to be the sequence so first when a push button is pressed the motor should start after three seconds so we will be using a timer delay here then the second step is each time the motor runs a counter should increment so we will be using a count up counter here as well and the third step is after the motor runs five times or you can say three times it's up to us an indicator light should turn on the fourth step is this indicator must stay on after the five cycles until we manually reset it so the fifth step is a reset button should reset the counter and turn off the indicator and now let's move on into the tia portal software to solve this problem so right now i am in the tia portal software and here i will be using a normally open contact which will be using to give the input pulse and here we have timers so i am going to use here ton timer basically this is timer on delay so click ok here so we have placed at the wrong place so i'm going to delete it select this line and now double tap on the ton timer and click ok for this window and here we have the ton timer after the start push button and now we need an output for the motor so i have used here a motor and here we would require a normally open contact so i have used it here and i will be required a counter here so in counter operations i will be using this first counter which is count up counter and finally i will be requiring an output here so i will be selecting this line and placing the output here and it will be used as indicator that the motor has run five times or three times so now we need to go into the plc tags for that i will be double clicking here show all tags so i will be writing here the tags that we will be using for this tutorial so first is going to be the input pulse and then it's going to be the reset button for the counter and then an output for the motor so for output we know that we use q in the tia portal software for the outputs and there is also another output which is five runs indicator or you can say three run indicator it's up to us so i will be writing here five runs indicator okay although i'm going to write here the elapsed time but i don't think that we are going to use in this tutorial although i know that the data type is going to be different but i'm not gonna change because the elapsed time is not going to be the tag so now let's assign the tags here so this right here is going to be the input pulse okay and this is going to be the motor and when the motor is gonna get turned on we want the pulse given to the counter as well so i'm going to assign this normally open contact the same address of the motor and this is going to be our five runs indicator and now let's assign the preset time and intentionally i'm going to make a mistake here this is going to be three seconds but i have written here three milliseconds because the time here is basically in milliseconds so we need to type here 3000 in order to get three seconds and also if you have make mistake then how you can get back and correct it okay and now let's assign the preset value to the counter which i am going to assign three and here is going to be the reset button i have set the three for the counter because i want to save your time although we can save it for the five as well and now let's download the program first we need to start the simulation which is running already in my case so i'm simply going to download this program and then click on load if you have made this error it will not go you further and here i'm going to turn on the monitoring mode we will see a green line after turning the monitoring mode and now let me explain you this window when you're gonna turn on the simulation basically you can create the project from here 
so you can click on new project and create a new project but i have already created new project so i'm not going to do this then this window will pop up you need to go into the same tables and you need to click on load tags so all of these tags gonna get appear since i do not need the iec timer tags in this tutorial so i'm gonna select all of these tags by holding the shift button and press the delete button in order to get rid of them okay and now i will adjust this window some here somehow here so that i can see the logic as well and then i'm going to give the pulses so when i will provide the pulse to the timer it must hold for the three seconds and then the motor should turn on and when the motor is going to turn on the counter value will be increasing and after the three runs the five run indicator must turn on so as you can see when i give the input pulse it is not holding for the three seconds because we have made the mistakes i told you earlier we have to set here 3000 in order to get three seconds so i'm typing here 3000 because the time here is milliseconds and 3000 milliseconds equal three seconds and now again i am going to download this program after correcting the mistakes and then click on load button and uh, now i need to turn on the monitoring mode as well so that's how we correct the mistakes and then we can get back here and now i'm first i'm going to press the reset button in order to reset the value of the counter because we have missed make mistake earlier and then i'm going to give the pulse so i have given the pulse after three seconds the motor is gonna get turned on and it is the case and as you can see this is written here one because we have given it the first pulse and this is going to be the second pulse after three seconds the motor is gonna get turned on and the counter has received the second pulse as soon as we give the third pulse and the counter receives the it third time the indicator must turn on and it is the case the logic is correct basically this indicator is telling us that the motor has successfully run three times so now we need to reset it because this is also a condition that when a counter has completed its runs then we need to reset it so that's why i have used this reset button and now i'm going to do the same thing again i'm going to give it three pulses basically we designed the circuit to be five pulses but you can manually set the preset value of the counter if you want it to be on three pulses you can set on three if you want it on five you can set on five or any other value so that's all for this video guys if you find this video helpful then please hit the like button and subscribe